Hello everyone, this is Dan from Canadian V Family and today I'm gonna show my top five accessories that I have bought already for my car. Let's start by the outside. So the first one is this adapter here, it's from Electrum. So I can connect my Tesla charger, you see there, and charge my rig. That's like uh, the first and uh, best thing I got here because since I also have to charge my Tesla, this adapter here, I think is the, one of the best things. Second one is my tux mat. So this thing has been a lifesaver. You see, <laughs> dirty as hell. So this is like the reason why I, I bought this stuff here. So we can really protect everything inside the car. So this is accessory number two. Okay, this one gonna be a little harder to see, but this is just uh, some rubber protection that I can put on under my 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 this this thing here that covers the the cargo, so it doesn't get very dirty when I bring stuff with me. This was like super cheap. I got a Canadian tire. It fits the car. Doesn't look good, but well, it's about the functionality, not about how pretty it is. Here, I figure out you can have a better look at the the protection here. This is supposed to be sideways. <laughs> this is like you cut as you need for your car, but it just fits like perfect on the strike here. <laughs> and uh, well, I also have something that I got here. This is, well, in fact, two things. First is the hitch and the ball. That is a uh, adjustable one. That's important since this car changed like the height a lot. I thought this one would be the best one for my trailer. And I also got the uh, anti rattle there. So I don't know if it's gonna help because this thing rattles a lot, but this one is solid. Yeah, I have to test to see how much noise this produces. but if there's a way to put an anti rattle on this thing here as well, I would do it as well. I also have here the Rivian uh, bars that you put on top and I got this, this was 3D printed. Yeah, it didn't hold very well, but uh, the bar itself is very important because you see, I have a kayak over there. I have some bikes over there. So those things I have to carry somehow, right? So this goes on the roof. That's the whole plan. Another essential for Canada, a nice broom that has like extensible handle here. Correctly, this extends, there you go. So this is perfect to, to clean up the roof. And there's even like a rubber blade in the middle of the broom here. So that really cleans the thing. Also this, you can always move to one side or another if you need like any angle or something. This is a must as well. So I also have like some prototyping here of holder for the phone. So this is also 3D printed and a friend of mine did it for me. We still going through some testing but the whole idea this holds the phone and uh it aligns with the charger because this apparently is a huge problem on the charging pad of the Rivian because you never know where the phone is supposed to go so this thing is a nice guide you still have like some new interactions like you see the, the prototypes here this is nice and why I'm, I'm here why i have a lunch bag here this is my trash so this is like linen plastic so it, it avoids spills or something and i have this basket here just for i don't know keeping stuff mostly my wife uses all the time so we just throw stuff in there when we have to because you don't have like a, a place to store things in general this was convenient doesn't look good though well not for the car i guess like but it's very useful i'm trying to get a better one in the future so here in the trunk, I have a few more things that are really, really nice. This is the bags that came with for the air compressor. This is just a first aid kit I always bring in my car. You probably wonder what is this? This is a pee bottle. Yeah, exactly. It's made for pee. So it's great. Save our lives a couple of times. If you're traveling with kids, that's very important. It also is designed for woman use. Well, you guess, you imagine. And you say, oh, why you have the Tesla bag here? Let me show you what I have inside of this thing here. Uh, since I had the Tesla before, I had all the chargers and all the cables for it. I decided to keep this one instead of using my Rivian one 
just because I have all the possible connectors for it. So oh, this is kind of sticky. What I like about those connectors is that when you connect this end to the device here, it also recognizes what is the maximum amperage and voltage that you have you have to use in order to charge. So it programs the car instead of you going there and changing manually for this. You might be wondering why this one is different from the others because this is a third party. This one here is uh, a TT30 that's for camping. So when you go to a camping site and you have a 30 amps, this is the connector you want. This is the 50 amps connector. This is the regular one, 110 volts, uh, 15 amps, and that's it. And uh, <laughs> talking about adapters, I have the Tesla here. So that means I use, also have to use the other adapter that was connected on the front of the car. The one I use for my, 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 my location charger here. So yeah, that explains all the things. Uh, let me know which accessory you like the most. I think uh, I'm quite equipped for, for a trip here, right? So tell me in the comments what you like, what you not. What else would you add if you have an RNS? One of the extras that I have on my car is not installed yet, but I think going to be the most expensive update I did to the car or accessories I'm adding to it. I'm doing a full wrap PPF next week. So I would like to talk a little more about that because that was like hard choice. Uh, not, not so hard though, because it, it's kind of very expensive. Don't get me wrong. Uh, it's not every day that you're going to just like put some grams on something like this. And uh, for the price of the vehicle, uh, having the, the PPF, I think is a must. I intend to use this car for off-roading. R1S way better than R1T for off-roading because of short wheelbase better attack angles uh, even the middle is like uh because the short wheel base you can go even farther so this car is the ultimately off-roader you can have from the r1 family so having the ppf itself will protect like for i don't know branches and trees scrapping the, the sides of your car or something like this so i definitely <laughs> prefer to have the car protected and also i can use like the regular car wash instead of using the one that just like uh doesn't touch your vehicle but doesn't wash as well uh, i prefer the one with the brushes and uh well the ppf is there for it so uh next week i'm gonna bring some updates and i'm gonna do like a special video just explaining and uh the good thing is that the the person that i select to do the ppf on this vehicle has like amazing knowledge has amazing portfolio uh, I'll put all the links on the description when I do that video. It's uh, going to be by the end of next week when it's installed and ready. I'm putting the transparent matte uh, version of the Expel Stealth. Uh, that one is amazing uh, by itself. Uh, I don't know if you saw pictures of the vehicles with the, the LCAP Gray using that kind of uh, Expel matte version. But I think the car will going to look gorgeous and protected. The most important part. So this is one of the very 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 expensive but extremely necessary ones i intend to add more stuff to the vehicle as well uh, as i might use this one for camping a lot i probably gonna have like the, the 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 something to block the windows something to block the lights on the top and uh maybe a mattress or something uh, you saw already the video when i tried some inflatable mattress that didn't work really well but there's like some really nice versions that like memory foam air combination that you can put on the r1s and this car is like the ultimate camper right so we'll see about it uh there's the, still the camping update that i'm still due to to make the videos and uh next week by the end of next week the ppf one i think that will be a really nice video